It's time and the hummingbirds are here. I saw one today. They are out searching for the food. So I've got to get them cleaned and put up. So let's get started. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I've got everything unpacked and I've got it here in the kitchen. At this present time, I only have three feeders and I hope to get more as the year passes. I've got these two small glass ones. I buy the ones with a large mouth because they're easier to get inside and clean so I've got those two with that kind of a bottom, but then I have a large jumbo with a really large bottom. You can see how big that one is. I think this is a quart size, so it will really feed a lot. I usually put it out in the backyard where there's a little more room. But I wanna show you, oh, and here's, I keep the hooks in the box in a little plastic baggie because I always lose the hooks. But you can always grab some more. Okay, now let's see how we make the hummingbird feed. Okay, now this is how I do it. I have the smaller jars filled up with water and then the large one only half full. And this is the container that I'm gonna put it in. And just to know how much I need for these, if you look at the measure on the side, that's roughly, oh, that's in liters. I don't know liters, so. On this side, on this side we're getting about, what is that, a quart. So roughly 32 ounces of water. Okay, so I know if I have 32 ounces of water, then when we do a one to four ratio, I need about eight ounces of sugar to the 32 ounces of water, a one to four ratio, eight to 32, one to four. So I'm gonna get, put the sugar in this, eight ounces of sugar, which is a cup. Okay, up to my approximately 32 ounces. Doesn't have to be super exact. I'm going to just put regular granulated sugar. I don't use honey or anything like that. I don't think that makes the proper ratios and everything for the, the um, oops. So see, there we go, full cup. And we put that into the water, okay. Let me grab a spoon and then we're going to stir this water. And basically we just need that sugar to dissolve into the water. That's all that's necessary. We just let it all dissolve. And you can kind of tell just by the look of the water when it's mostly dissolved. Then, let's take it over to the microwave. Okay, I'm gonna put it into the microwave. It's heavy. Okay, and then that amount, I'll probably have to let it microwave, I'm gonna say seven minutes to get it boiling. Now we wait the seven minutes. Now 
know, when it's all ready, you've got to be very careful because boiling fluids and stuff in the microwave are really volatile. So just carefully handle it. And let's set it over on the counter because it's going to have to cool. I've got it over here on the counter. And it's very, very hot. But you can see how all of the sugars have dissolved in there. And it's really, really clear. So now, it's just going to be a while before that cools back to close to room temperature. It can be slightly warm, but it needs to be cooled off. You can't burn the birds or your little pieces of equipment. Okay, now our mixture has cooled. It's just slightly warm to the touch, but perfectly fine to go out. It'll be warm nectar to the hummingbirds. And so I'm going to fill up this large one. Well, I don't fill it all the way to the top because I'm going to want to refresh it pretty soon. So we'll just use the amounts we have. Now these smaller bottles, once you fill them up and then turn them upside down, it'll go into the reservoir anyway. So here's the bottles. And if you have these, you know how it works. This is your lid right here. And I just set it on it and screw it tight. Same for the other one. Oops. Oops. Hooking into each other. Screw it tight. And there we go. Now this is the portion that goes on the top, and of course, and this is where the hook goes, but I'm not going to, let me upend it right here so you can see. Most of the time I upend it after I get out, out front, but here I go. And you can see where some of the water runs down into this reservoir, see that? It's going down into the reservoir so it is available out here. So it's going to splash and run. So you just have to be careful. And then we just screw the top on. And then this area on the top is where my hooks are going to go. And then we just have to take it out front and hang it on a hook. Now I use some of these hummingbird moats that you can hang from the tree from your hook and then put the hook onto here to keep ants from getting in getting into the feeder. They do work work really well. So use those if you want to. Okay. Okay, I've got a hook up there in the tree and all I'm going to do is Take my moat, put it on the hook, just like this, okay? And then with the tiny hook that's here, there we go. And now we've got our hummingbird feeder all ready to feed the hummers and I've got another one to hang over here and then one to hang downstairs but I think this will be perfect for the hummingbirds with a butter no there's a hummer already you see it yeah we're here we're here we brought you one I know you've been out here waiting for it. Well, I'm gonna back off. She's a little scared right now, but we'll back off so she can get it. Hope that showed up in the film because that was so cute, her already coming around. 
but we got two more to hang. Okay, I've used this little loop as my hook on the tree. And we've got our moat and the hookup already. So there we go. And there's one more all ready for the birds. And I hope I haven't scared them right now. But I'm gonna hang them right there at the present time. I may adjust it a little. We're gonna have this tree trimmed shortly and I'll want to fix the area. Fix the area where they hang. Okay, one more to do in the back. Now I've kept this one upside down. So here I go. And most of it runs down. Most of it runs down into the reservoir. And then I'm going to hook that into here. And hook that onto my hook. And then, there we go. So now we've got this one ready outside. But it's all hung and ready to feed the Hummers. One in the back, one in the front, and they're fed. So I hope you've enjoyed this simple way to show you how to make the nectar, the sugar water. Here early, this won't go very fast, but in the summertime, it goes fast or degrades quickly in the sunlight and you have to replace it. But if you get used to the amount you need that replaces your amount for your feeders, you can just make what you need each time. I'm used to putting some on early in the morning when I make my coffee and having them ready within an hour. But thanks for joining me today. See you next video. Bye.